You know, the problem of cybernetics is it is not an academic discipline that belongs in a department. <laughs> it is an attempt to correct an erroneous way of looking at the world and at knowledge in general. What we would like is to affect what people think is common sense, things that they take for granted, that in fact are problematic, about causality, about purposes, about relationships. Universities don't have departments of uh, epistemological therapy. What we really were trying to do was to invite you to be curious with us and thinking about curiosity as a context and at the same time offer what we were saying from the point of view of our learning together and how we came to, to think about these things, um, but really from a point of view of not knowing. You explain how you would explain epistemological therapy? Epistemological therapy is a merging process. So there is a setting in which people could enter, and there is such a director of the relations between people, and uh, there is a common action. Describe an object. This is only a starting point. Well, it can be anything but just for a cup of coffee. If I uh, enter into this epistemological therapy, how is it, is it going to be an unfold? Coffee reminds me the difference between uh, Italian coffee and American coffee. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, when I came in here in the US, uh, I was very curious to taste American coffee. And um, I think, uh, and uh, I observe the relations uh, that uh, uh, connecting people uh, by the coffee. So I, I have seen so many people around the streets with the coffee in, in, the, in uh, their hands. And uh, there's an uh, uncommon to to see this uh, in, uh, in Italy, because uh, coffee is a, uh, a social medium of a conversation in, uh, in the bar, not outside, okay? Universities don't have departments of uh, epistemological therapy. They have groups of people with ways of seeing the world that have been built up over long periods of time and get transmitted and elaborated and and are sometimes marvelously useful and insightful, but there are things, there are errors that we live with in our, what we regard as common sense. There is a tradition in the American society for cybernetics for some of its members to address some of the illusions that underlie our hegemonic society. That objectivity is not only possible, but desirable. That aggression is our fundamental emotion. That peace is something to be achieved. <laughs>